engineering. Our speaker for today is a licensed civil engineer, accredited materials engineer one, and a certified patent agent who has passed various distance learning courses at the World Intellectual Property Organization in Switzerland. She is an alumna in Bachelor of Science in Civil Engineering at Mapua University, a Master of Engineering Management, major in Construction Management at the Pamantasan ng Lungsod ng Maynila, and a Doctor of Technology at the Technological University of the Philippines. With almost 30 years of industry experience, she is the Founder President of Bionite Element Institute of the Philippines, our inspiring speaker is also the CEO or the founder president of Polite Technology Incorporated, a startup local manufacturer that uses green innovation and technology to contribute to nation building. The recipient of the gold award, the highest rated design in the field of materials innovation and besting over 80 entries won the grand prize Malasakit Award as the first recipient in the Philippines for her technology and designs. So not only that, as our this continues, I think Andrea, baka pag sinabi natin lahat ng accomplishments ng speaker natin, baka mamaya abutin tayo ng bukas. So without further ado, Andrea. Ladies and gentlemen, with more accomplishments, experiences, and wisdom on the list, we would like to introduce to you our speaker of today as we hand over the floor to the feminine genius, Dr. Ria Liza C. Calas. As new skyscrapers rise in our skylines, greenhouse gases are rising along with it. This is because the production of cement, a major construction material, emits about 8% of the world's total carbon dioxide emissions. And with concrete proof of global warming's dire effects, an eco-friendly solution might be this Filipino invention. Invented by Dr. Ria Canlas, polite is a very tough material. Unlike cement, which is environmentally unsustainable, Polite is made of eco-friendly and natural materials. Polite products are easy to install, very customizable, and extremely strong. It's lightweight. I can even install it myself. This is waterproof, fire retardant. You cannot find in the market a similar product that is equipped with all of these uh, properties. Polite selfie tiles look hip and cool. Even Marriott Hotel thinks it's insta-worthy. While Polite hollow blocks are so easy to install, it's like playing with Legos. You can already select if you want the plane or the brick look or the tile look. You can even have a hollow glass that has a printed design on it already. So that's giving your house instant aesthetics. For its innovation, form, and function, Polite has been recognized with the Good Design Award Grand Prix as a promising solution for the country's housing gap. Strong, sustainable, aesthetic. Polite is ready to shake up the construction industry.
I am Dr. Ria Liza Canlas. I am an engineer scientist and I am a woman in science. Good afternoon, everyone. And um, it's so nice to be invited by my alma mater. Of course, it is my privilege to be sharing my journey and to enlighten everybody about a very particular topic. Women in science, technology, and engineering. Yes, I know that um, as a woman, I am a woman in these three fields. But what does it um, implies in paving the way for women empowerment and gender equality? So I'd like to focus on those two topics or sad realities on, on, on um, inequality okay, or, or biases. There are other facts like more than 50% of the population are women. But only 1% uh, women owns the world's wealth. And the area of focus in attaining gender equality is mostly should be women's economic and political empowerment. But sad reality is that globally, no country has fully attained a perfect gender equality. For these two factors that we're discussing, it is said that women empowerment will lead to gender equality. Let me take on some nays and yays about women empowerment. For the nays, there is a double standard society, meaning that in terms of maybe freedom, especially in terms of being, um, um, you know, uh, expressing oneself, no? women are always behind men. They said female is a weaker gender than male. And thus, maybe, or most of the time, male take that to that advantage. And they said, female is more emotional. I'd like to take the words coming from my dear friend, Father Benigno Beltran, when he said that women tend to be so emotional that, then, that when they do something wrong, they tend to recall all the wrongs they've done in the past, thereby making this very sad reality of women mostly do not forgive themselves. No. And in that case, when, when women has that sense of thinking, then it, it is a hindrance for female to attain a particular goal. But on the other hand, no. being emotional, being attached to empathy, they said that women has more empathy than men, which is very, very excellent, very good. Women has the tendency to think of others, to think of the situation or comprehend the situation better than men. Because as they said, most men lack empathy why is this that why what, what is so special about women is their ability to make herself a sincere gift of self to others why because women is the venue for co-creation when women bring along a child in their womb this is a perfect situation of a sincere gift of self. Women has the tendency of doing everything just for the sake of attending to what others are asking from them. So this makes women very special. But the stigma of making women a secondary gender is generational. That I have to quote from Father Benigno Beltran as well. If the kids see how their parents or mothers have been treated or how their mothers react to certain situations, then most probably this women, this child, a, a daughter would thought that it is normal for them to experience the same sad reality in the future and they pass it on. The generations. Same thing if you're a son, 
and you are exposed to seeing your father doing violence against women, you can also think that it is normal to do violence. And thus, when they grow up, when they have their own family, they do the same. So it's generational. Now, if women is empowered, then this is stigma, then whatever generational we had, this will stop. And because of that, empowering women is actually the key in changing the world. When we say empowering women, that means women has access to opportunities. And that access to opportunities should be equal among gender. For this day, we're not just talking about male or female. We're talking a lot of various types of gender preferences. Some would not even want to say what is their gender preferences. But you see, whatever gender you are into, there should be equality. That even you're a man, women, or the LGBT, you should have equal power, equal opportunities and it is very important in the attainment of gender equality the actions and the attitude of men and boys in terms of achieving the said equality women empowerment empowerment is not just about women because if there is gender equality then both or all gender will benefit from its impacts.